What's up guys, this is Eric from Beat Sonic. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to program your NDS6223 EP. This module does not have an external button. Instead, it's gonna utilize your factory steering wheel control. In order to go into program mode, first, you must turn off your car. Okay, after your car is turned off, press and hold the bottom volume button. And while pressing that, turn on your car. Once you hear that long beep, now you are in program. For every up, volume up button you press, you will change between two modes. So let me press up. There's two beeps, now you're in mode two. That's mode one. Mode two. Default is mode one. So we'll go ahead and put this car back to mode one. And when you press the, vol the volume down button, you will be able to change the timer on the navigation in motion. So default is three minutes, which will indicate with three beeps. And then four minute is four beeps. One beep is no timer and two beeps is two minutes. So let's give it a try. So that's four beeps. So now that's four minutes. That's one beep, which means no timer. Two beeps, which is two minute, three beeps which is the default. So let's go ahead and put it back there. And once you're done with your different modes, go ahead and hold and press the down volume. You'll hear the long beat one more time. Now you have completed your program. On default, the module is programmed at mode one and also at three minute timer. So mode one on this, you'll recognize that there is a slight delay on the first volume up press that I'll demonstrate here. So you press one, it's about a, one, a little less than one second delay. But when you bypass using the up, down, up, down, you'll find that the volume does not change when activating the navigation or deactivating the navigation mode. So I'll go ahead and deactivate again. See, the volume did not change at all. Activate. Deactivate. However, on mode 2, there will be no volume lag at every up volume touch. But at every navigation bypass, you will find that the volume will change. On the mode two. Let me go ahead and um, demonstrate that to you. Okay, now we are on mode two. And in mode two, when you press the alt button, there is no volume lag at all. But in exchange, if you wanna bypass your navigation and press the up down up down motion you will see that your volume does change between this sequence of button press that you need to perform in order to bypass your navigation so take your pick guys you either get the little lag when engaging the bypass but it will not change your volume or your volume will be changed and you will not get the lag when pressing the button. When selecting your timer, once again, three minutes is your default. We pick three minutes as default because for the most of the time, it shouldn't take more than three minutes to enter an address and it'll be more convenient if the car disengages the bypass by itself and it's able to find your car's location within that period of time. There's also another way to perform the navigation in motion without a timer regardless of what mode you are in. So first you want to go ahead and press the up down up down sequence to perform the navigation in motion and you do that twice in a row like this.
The long beep will confirm that navigation in motion has been engaged and that the timer has been disabled. So the navigation in motion will be active until you disengage it by pressing once again the up down up down motion. And that confirms the cancellation of your navigation in motion. We just encourage anyone to use no timer mode because once the navigation in motion has been activated and in an event of an emergency, the car will not be able to find its location on the GPS and the SOS will not be able to find your car as well. Alright everybody, now this concludes today's instruction video on how to program and select your modes on the BeatSonic MDS 6223 EP navigation and DVD in motion. For addi additional questions, please contact us at info at beatsonicusa.com. Thank you very much.